Hey guys, it's uh, Wednesday. Uh, I've been getting some work done, but I haven't filmed anything. It's Drag Week, and I've been watching the live feed. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Drag Week. That's, I don't know if I've talked about it before, but that's what I built this car for. I built it for the Street Eliminator class to compete in that. Um, I know I'm not going to ever have a budget to be, or uh, the talent to uh, compete with like the top end guys, the, or even like the, the 850 class. I can't remember the name of the class. That Those guys are pretty brutal on that too. So I figured with the 10-0 class uh, in Street Eliminator, I can go out there, be competitive, and have fun all at the same time. So that's what this car uh, was built for. Um, so I've been watching the live feed and haven't been filming anything while I was working. So uh, I got uh, the axles in, and I already put the uh, wheel studs in it. I didn't film that. I wasn't going to film that anyway because I hate doing that, and I just cuss the whole time. I don't know what it is about that. I hate doing wheel studs. But anyway... Uh, I'll show you what we got done on the axle so far. I've got the brackets flipped over. I'll show you what we do there and uh, go from there. What we've gotten done so far. Uh, so this bracket is normally, well, it's on the other side. It's normally on this side of this flange. You cut a place out, put it on there, and that'll move the brake caliper in three quarters of an inch. And that'll let you use uh, stock Fox body length axles, which I'm hoping is going to give me enough space up here for the tire. Uh, so that's where we're at, and we'll uh, I'll update you again here when we get the thing out. Like I said, I'm watching Drag Week, so uh, not filming too much because I'm watching it on my phone out here in the garage. So you can see we've got the uh, the disc brakes all on now. Um, we put the uh, we ordered a spacer off of Brakes R Us to use the stock. Well, it's not stock. It's a five lug conversion for but for the drum brakes because the axle for the drum brake is significantly cheaper than the box body length five lug with the right register for the for the disc brake. So we uh, ordered that. Got some Summit thirty one spline five lugs. Uh, showed up fairly quick, and then we've got the brakes back on, and I'll show you what we got going on there. I'll show you what our setup is here is we've got this is the factory bracket that we cut a, a space in so we could flip it to the inside of the axle flange. One washer to kick it out to line it up so the brake uh, caliper mount doesn't uh, hit the rotor and it's all good to go. So it's got all spaced out for the uh, box body length axle with the SN95 rear brake. So let's get a wheel on it and show you guys how it fits. Okay guys, well you can see Made a huge improvement here. Can fit my whole hand up in there. It's like three quarters of an inch or all the way around. Got about the same, maybe a little bit less on the inside. And uh, so there's plenty of room for the suspension to articulate up and down without the tires rubbing. Um, here I'll show you some pictures of what it looked like before we did anything, after we did the suspension drop and didn't do the axles, and then uh, a final one from an angle where you can see that the tires sucked in too. So uh, put that in right now. And so you guys see that. And now that's going to be it for this video. I think we're going to do a test drive in the next video. We've got a couple little things to button up. I'm going to put the sway bar back on. I'm going to put the diff cover and put fluid in. And then it's all set. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, click the like, subscribe, all that stuff. There's uh, Facebooks, Instagrams over here. And uh, see you guys next time.